This morning in our series, Life Lessons, just like the Beatles sang, all you need is love. And love is the subject of New York Times bestselling author Jay Shetty's latest book. It is called Eight Rules of Love, How to Find It, Keep It, and let it go. Mm. Jay, it's always good to have I you. Know. I'm so grateful to be here. Thank yeah. you for having me back. Enjoy your spirit and your energy when you come into this studio. Let's start with the book. So you break it, you, you break love into four stages. Explain the four stages. Yeah, I feel like we always think we're either in love or we're not in love. Yeah. And actually, love is more like a set of stages. So you have preparing for love when you're mm -hmm. single. Okay. You have practicing love when you start dating someone. Then you have protecting love when things start to go wrong and the challenges start to arise. And then finally, you have perfecting love, which can either mean staying together or even learning to let go. Okay, oh, wow. let's talk about preparing. I think it's interesting. You say before jumping into a relationship, you think it's important to spend some alone time. First. Yeah, I think we've made loneliness seem like the bad guy. Mm -hmm. And actually spending time in solitude can be a massive strength. What's the longest amount? I know you were a monk. What's the longest amount of time you've been in solitude? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Maybe maybe a few hours. A few hours <laughs> yeah, just yeah. by yourself. Yeah, by mm -hmm. yourself. But I think it's really powerful when you realize that there's a you before a you during and a you after every relationship. And I think when we forget that, that's when we lose our identity, lose ourselves, and even lose our self-respect in a relationship. Fair. So you, 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 you're in that, that solitude. You find your focus, hopefully. But you say once you start to connect with somebody, that you want to connect with somebody and help them become your guru. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is a, a counterintuitive idea that comes from uh, Eastern philosophy, the idea that your partner can be your guru. Now, when we think of guru, we think of someone telling you what to yeah. do and someone sure. teaching you. Mm -hmm. That's not what a guru actually does. A guru is someone who compassionately listens, understands, doesn't criticize but cheers you on, doesn't complain but communicates, and doesn't you know, compare you to anyone else, but challenges you to become better. So you want to be with someone who helps you grow. Does that person bring out the best in you and do you bring out the best in them? Yeah, and how do, to follow up on that, how do you, how do you be a guru to your partner? Because I sometimes, D Deborah will say, well, I, I didn't want you to solve this one. I, I just wanted to talk. I just wanted you to listen. listen. The yeah. first step is to just be present. Can we just be present with our partners when they're asking to share how their day was or how, a difficult challenge that we've been, they've been dealing with? Can we just be present? present with them. Mm. This is good advice. I, I, certainly, I hope my wife isn't watching. <laughs> uh, speaking of partners, you and your book, you tell this pretty funny story about your engagement to Roddy. Yeah. I know who you're a huge fan. I know, I fan. think she's delightful. You, you talk about, not to give away too much because we want folks to actually read the book, <laughs> but you tell the story about how your engagement didn't really go as planned. Yes, yeah. If you could do it all over again, what would you do differently? All right, well, well, I'll tell the short version. So when I proposed, I planned this extravagant thing. So we were on the bank of the Thames. We were walking down there. I had this a cappella group pop out and sing Bruno Mars, uh, Marry You to Her. Oh, then wow. they gave her a bouquet of flowers. I got down on one knee. She said yes. Then we walked around the corner, and we had dinner there, like, set up by the Bank of the Thames. Jeez. And I had a favorite food come in, but it was cold because we were on the Bank of the Thames. It wasn't the ideal <laughs> setup. So that went kind of wrong. Then we walked around the corner, and this beautiful white horse-drawn carriage was there wow. to take us on a trip around London. So we did that. Then we get in the train on the way back to her parents' home to tell them what had happened. And when we get to her parents' home, they open the door and they look at her face and they go, what happened? What did he do to you? And she had hives all over her oh, face. No. And that was the day we realized she was allergic to horses. <laughs> and, oh, and I had no idea. I had no idea. Oh, and and uh, the, reason I, the way I do it differently is I realized that that proposal could have been anyone's. Yeah. It wasn't personal to us. It wasn't yeah. unique to us. The, the oh, song wasn't unique to us. The, the horses were what I'd seen on Instagram. I okay. just put together something. Yeah. Well, you were young. But yes. still, but a little bit more personal. I, yes. I realized love had to be a lot more specific. Oh, that's personal. so good. By the way, before we let you get out of here, uh, happy birthday. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Happy I appreciate birthday. that. Thank was you so much. Yesterday. 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 Oh. How'd you celebrate? Uh, I was working, doing what I love every day, oh, living my purpose. It was great. And yeah. you're not working, really. Yeah, when exactly. When you're living your purpose. Exactly. Exactly. We always enjoy Thank you, son. Thank Grateful. you. Always. We enjoy Thank you, you, and we especially always enjoy your cardigans. <laughs> uh, eight Rules of Love. It's available now. And by the way, if you've never heard it, you should check out Jay's podcast. Uh, podcast, And it's called Appropriately On Purpose. <laughs> Terrific. Stuff. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.